What's up guys, Just Messy here. Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to a daily dose of transfer gossip. Today, in fact, is the very first day of the month. So happy June to everyone watching this video, guys. So as always, before we get any further, if you can smash 1,000 fire likes, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to my channel, click that subscribe button for daily FIFA content. And in the comments below, let me your thoughts on today's rumors and the rumors I should do in the next episode. And if you missed any of my previous videos, let me down below in that description box. Go check them out. Uh, they'll also be on my channel if you want to see any of the other ones. So let's start today with the very first confirmed deal and that is going to be Stephen Warnock the former Liverpool man going to Wigan now on a permanent basis from uh, Derby on a free transfer I think he was on loan to Wigan briefly last season uh, towards the end hence the reason they have signed him on a permanent basis and Wigan have got promoted to the back to the championship now so he'll be a championship player again now we go on to uh, Kevin Vox I think his name is has joined Hoffenheim this time from FC Cologne for an undisclosed fee on a four-year contract I think so far Hoffenheim have been quite busy this summer transfer window it's on a fair amount of players uh, after also uh, uh, selling Kevin Volland, unfortunately for them, to uh, Bayer Leverkusen. Then we go on to uh, Helder Lopez, a player I've honestly never heard of, but he has joined UD Las Palmas in uh, Spain this time from Paco Ferreira on a free deal. And now we go on to a player I have heard of, and that is going to be Christian Ansaudi, the Argentine left back. And uh, today uh, he has completed his move permanently now to Genoa for £3 million from Zenit St. Petersburg. And I'm assuming in the season he was there on loan, he done pretty well for himself, getting himself in the EA Sports uh, FIFA team this season for Serie A, which I'm assuming is an indication for him playing quite well. Well, and also the, the previous season before that was of course a loan to Atletico Madrid and I, I honestly thought Atletico bought him but apparently it was uh, from Zenit St. Petersburg on a loan deal. Now we go on to Jonas Meffa, a player again I've not heard of but has joined Freiburg this time uh, from Bayer Leverkusen and last season he was out on loan and has joined the Bundesliga 2 club. I'm not sure if they've been promoted or not but born in 1994 probably makes him a little bit of a prospect for the future and then we go on to Rasmus Janssen for my Swedish followers. Uh, he has joined Odense BK from Alberg BK on a free transfer if anyone actually cares about that one and then we go on to Diego Laxal leaving Inter Milan to Genoa for 1.88 million pounds I'm not sure if he's out on loan there like um, obviously Alan Saudi was previously uh, they may have made that one a permanent switch as well then we go on to a, a player called Eugen Polanski a Polish CDM this time from Hoffenheim he has signed a contract extension until 2018 and that's going to be the final confirmed one today then so let's go on to potential deals and the juicy rumours to start today off the very first one is going to be Alex Pritchard of Tottenham Hotspur today apparently according to Sky Sports News they're willing to sell him and the article reads that Tottenham are willing to sell young midfielder Alex Pritchard for around £8 million with two Premier League clubs interested so previously I think he played for Brentford on loan at one point and also West Brom last season but I'm not sure he made much or, or if any impact at all um, at West Brom last season so £8 million it does seem a little bit steep but 1993 is probably like 22 or 23 years old now we go on to another player which is going to be Jose Reina Pepe Reina uh, today apparently linked to a return to Liverpool and this is according to Corio Dello Sport and they're saying that Jurgen Klopp is trying to convince goalkeeper Pepe Reina back to Liverpool but Napoli are refusing to sell the 33 year old so um, I'm not sure if this one happened or not because he has been linked with previous move back to us um, after he left Bayern Munich but in general I'm assuming Klopp would if he was to get him he'd use him as like a number two to kind of coach Karius and I'm assuming that'd be the end of Steven Mignolet as a Liverpool player but that one uh, I'm not sure whether it will happen or not but Mignolet as a number two I'm okay with uh, but Pepe Reina again I'd be uh, happy as a backup now we go on to Iron Robben today. The uh, the Dutch player, very injury plagued last season for Bayern. Today links again to Besiktas and not for the first time. And this article reads that with Gokan Tor set to join West Ham for around £10 million, Besiktas are hoping to use the funds raised to bring Bayern Munich forward Iron Robben to Turkey. So I'm not sure whether he would or not because at the moment, I'd probably say he's, he's going to struggle getting straight back into that Bayern team. The likes of Douglas Costa and also uh, the youngster Kings of Coman, they've stepped up massively. He will definitely still be a top class player when he's back fully to fitness but given the fact that injuries have laid him off a little bit this season and Kingsley Coman has definitely stepped up in his absence and also uh, Douglas Costa um, I'm assuming like, he's 32 years old now I think um, he's not getting any younger and Besiktas would probably be able to offer him a huge contract but alternatively he may choose to stay at Bayern Munich and fight for his place again next season under Carlo Ancelotti then we go on to David Alaba another uh, Bayern Munich player today apparently Real Madrid have bid big big money for him and this is according to AS then this and the Bayern Munich have rejected a bid of 50 million euros from Real Madrid for Austria international David Alaba. So 
Alaba, he's a fantastic player. Everyone knows that as common knowledge. And um, apparently Bayern won 80 million euros for him. And if that happens, that'd be huge. Obviously, every single player in world football has their own price. And Alaba, uh, 80 million euros, whether that's too much or probably about right, we'll have to wait and see. As they're Real Madrid, they've kind of got endless money anyway. And that'd be fantastic for FIFA. Now we've gone to uh, Fernando Llorente this time, linked to the Premier League new boys at Middlesbrough. So according to fishers.net, they're saying that Middlesbrough manager Karanka wants to bring severe striker Fernando Llorente to the North Northeast this summer to spearhead the side's Pro League campaign for next season and also their attack. He's a very experienced European striker. He's an absolutely massive target man, so I'm assuming they'd probably play long ball possibly. But at the start, they may be facing a little bit of a relegation battle on paper at least. Uh, but who knows? On paper, Leicester City wouldn't have won the Premier League. And before anyone jumps to the conclusion, I'm not saying Middlesbrough will win the Premier League. Uh, I've just said strange things have happened very recently. Now we've gone to Antonio Rudiger. Recently made the switch permanently to Roma for around six million pounds. Apparently, Chelsea and PSG. Are still interested though. I did mention this when I said that he confirmed the deal because uh, apparently Roma are buying him to essentially make profit. So it says that Gazzetta della Sport are saying that Chelsea and PSG are still keen on signing the fullback Antonio Rudiger, although he plays centre back and I think fullback for Germany possibly, um, despite him completing a permanent basis to Roma from Stuttgart the other day. And the rumoured fee for that is around £23 million going around right now um, from the £6 million they initially bought him for uh, just two days ago already. So now we're going to Peter Zielinski, a Polish player that was uh, being linked to Liverpool a hell of a lot this summer. In fact, already been wearing a Liverpool shirt at one point uh, due to a TV show. But apparently Napoli kind of enter, entering the frame now and they may beat Liverpool to him. So Gazzetta della Sport again has said that Liverpool could miss out on signing Empoli winger Peter Zielinski this summer uh, with Napoli is set to hijack the Reds move but apparently though the reports in England from like the Liverpool Echo and stuff are saying that we're not actually interested in him anymore because there's been a bit of a complication between I think Udinese own him and obviously Udinese are part owners of Watford I think it is and there's been because of the, the, the Sinclair thing about the uh, £4 million tribunal there's been a bit of a bother about that. I really just confused myself because Udinese Watford Liverpool. It's like a triangle like that because Udinese obviously own the player right now. Um, Watford bought a player from Liverpool or got a player from Liverpool on a free transfer and apparently the owners aren't too happy about the tribunal fee they'll have to pay. So that's what I was getting to. It's quite long-winded but that is a situation on that one. Now we're going to uh, Marcelo Brozovic today, a Croatian linked to Arsenal for about the fifth time now. And it says that Arsenal have been handed a big boost in their pursuit for intimate fielder Marcelo Brozovic after it emerged the Serie A club need to sell their best players this summer. So I'm not sure of their financial status but if that's the case, uh, they may be losing the likes of, uh, obviously, uh, what's his name, Icardi as well, and Miranda potentially this summer, on top of Brozovic potentially to Arsenal. Now we've got on to Adriano this time, a link to Lazio today. And I forgot he even played for Barcelona, to be honest, anymore, but apparently, according to this uh, Gazzetta del Sport article again, there's an Lazio set to complete the signing of Barcelona fullback Adriano after he exercised an option in his contract to become a free agent. And now from a Barcelona outgoing to a potential Barcelona income, and that is going to be Krzysztofiak from Sevilla today. According to Mundo Deportivo, they said that Barca have made contact with the agent of Sevilla midfielder Krzysztofiak as they look to sign the Polish international this summer. And I imagine there's a lot of clubs after him currently. And if Barca were to get him, I imagine it could be before the Euros potentially because his value after the Euros may rocket if he has a good tournament. And now we go on to Juan Mata again. And it's a double one. Juan Mata and also Daily Blind. And this is according to Sky Sports. And apparently Manchester United will allow Juan Mata and Daily Blind both to leave the club this summer. Uh, another player is wanted by the new manager, Jose Mourinho, who will sell if acceptable bids come in. And in yesterday's episode, Mata was linked to Barcelona. So that one could potentially happen if this is true. Now we go on to a, a Man United youngster this time. And that is going to be Fossu Mensa. And after Rashford and also, I think it's Borthwick Jackson, got contract yesterday. Apparently he's next in line. And this is according to Ver International. So they're saying that Timothy Fossu Mensa is the latest United youngster to undergo contract talks at Old Trafford after Red Devils uh, trying to get the, the young talent locked down basically because there's a lot of players um, that have broken out last season that could be interested by other clubs. And now we've gone to Omar Toprak this time, the Turkish player who I believe missed out on the Euro squad yesterday, linked to Borussia Dortmund. And this is according to Build in Germany. They said that Dortmund have identified by Leverkusen centre back Omar Toprak as the man they want to replace the departing Mats Hummels. Uh, obviously, Hummels has gone to their rivals Bayern Munich. It looks like they will have to strengthen that option this summer, and Toprak could be the man. And now according to Daily Mirror, Spurs are in talks for a £30 million move for Leon striker Alexander Lacazette, who's also a target their massive rivals West Ham. So, obviously, West Ham had a bit 
of 31 million pounds rejected and i'm assuming 30 million pounds it, it probably could be closer to 40 mil but that'd be a very good player to partner up next to harry kane next season and the final one today is going to henrik mkhitaryan or the armenian today apparently linked to arsenal yet again according to build so it reads that the gunners have been given hope in the hope to sign a Borussia Dortmund attacking midfielder Henrik Mkhitaryan after 27 year old's agent said that Armenian international was looking at his options and it just seems to all be going wrong right now for Dortmund because uh, obviously they lost they lost their captain Matt Tomals they lost the final Marco Royce got injured and missed out on the Germany squad and what else is there Aubameyang's been linked to a move away uh, like to Real Madrid and stuff and now Mkhitaryan but on that note guys that covers all today's potential gossip and the confirmed deal so as always if you can smash 1,000 fires likes that'd be absolutely awesome if you'd my channel class subscribe for daily FIFA content in the comments below let me your thoughts on today's rumors and the rumors i shoot in the next episode and finally if you missed any of my previous videos they'll be on my channel or in the description below guys so thank you for this video and i'll see you next time